You ready? Take a bow? Yeah. Hey, we keep ranting about these two, but up until now, you just got a glimpse of them. So yeah, let's present you these two goofballs. Let's go! Back in time. 2017. Their birth year. It might be hard to believe, but these two are from the same litter. And Noah is the youngest. And probably because he was the last of the litter, uh, Kara was a bit of a bully at first. And, well, she still is. <clears throat> so we adopted Noah first. And Kara was staying with one of our friends on a different area. So Noah grew up with us in a colder area than Kara, which could explain why he thrives so much when the climate is colder. So in winter, while well, Kara hates the cold, but she absolutely loves heat. Literally. She stays in the hottest hours and you can see her panting. So Bust shows obsessive, possessive behavior to a various degree. Noah is defensive over food and toys. He is what you can call a hoarder. He is also obsessing over squirrels and monkeys, which is probably why he's deeply founded over his squeaky toy. Yes, it has some better days. And believe it or not, this was washed two days ago. Kara is obsessive over toys, mostly when she is on hit. She will carry her toy with her, specifically at this period, and she will be very defensive over it. It is her baby. During this, she will also display nurturing behavior. She is looking to build a nest, so she digs everywhere in the garden. So her whole demeanor completely changed, and it is like you have another dog. She can be also very defensive when she finds a dead animal or when she catches a prey. Then you either have to be quick before she grabs it or else it's too late. No bribes will be accepted. They both have the hunting instincts, which is not too surprising. So both are great learners, they just have a different way of working. So Noah has very intense focus, pretty much most of the time. So a very good quality for scent detection. However, he has a low span of attention, which requires a very specific approach when we training him. Kara, on her side, has a focus that is less prominent, but nonetheless, she is great at learning comments with her extreme motivation. So her attention is high, which makes it easy for training. So despite being bro and sisters, they have very distinct personalities. Kara is a loopy one with her broken tail. She was born with it and except sweeping things and punching our faces, it is not really affecting her. She is the vocal one, calling to show her excitement, <coughs> frustration, doesn't hold or wave a tail, then this is Kudrit. Something is wrong. Noah is, well, you know it by now if you look at our Instagram, he's a naughty pup. So when he's hype, he doesn't bark. No, no. He jumps and he grabs things. He had a blanket when he was younger, which he kept almost every time I'm inside. So he saw like grabbing towels or his sleeping blanket and run away with it. But needless to say, he's a handful. He had a lot of skin issues since he was a puppy, but thankfully he's doing way better now. So it's five years now that they are with us, and we are very excited and thrilled to spend the next coming year with them. They are full of surprises and our best decision. So we really do our best so we can all contribute to wildlife conservation and helping people to see dogs under a different angle. So stay tuned.